Hello friends and uh, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll be talking about how to advertise on Flipkart. First, let's understand what does advertising in Flipkart mean. It is a simple CPC that's cost per click based advertising within the Flipkart platform. It enables the sellers to increase the visibility of the products in Flipkart, bypassing the ratings, reviews and the weighted average accumulated by any product in the competition. But please note there is an internal algorithm of Flipkart which decides the functionality which is not revealed by Flipkart. So in this we will always see that you can you can advertise or promote your products within the Flipkart platform though there are many other products which are there in the same type of competition but it will not be a straightforward uh, math of how to be on the top in Flipkart advertising. So how it works. You can use your COD money that is that is there in your receivable to spend on ads. You have to calculate your CPC spends before you opt in for this feature. But more important to note is to understand if the spending of the ads is profitable for you or not. For example, let's say you have 2.5 rupees as your CPC. Your approx conversion rate is about 2%. Now what your maths is 2.5 rupees multiplied by 100 is equal to 250 rupees now for 250 rupees you're likely to have two orders because we have considered a conversion rate of two percent now let's say your product price is 1500 rupees now your revenue will be 3000 rupees because of two percent conversion for the ad spend of rupees 250 you have to des uh, decide whether it is okay to spend this money because you have to spend this money from your margin money from the 3000 rupees of revenue that you have received you have to reduce uh, you have to minus your operational cost cost of the product and whatever other additional cost that you incur minus the ad spend and after that are you left with any margin money or not note there is never a straightforward calculation because your cpc will vary conversion rate will vary now you have to monitor your ads regularly to understand if your advertising is a success or not. Now I'll tell you a few of the tricks that can be used in advertising. Out of experience I will suggest suggest you to have multiple campaigns. For example, one campaign make a CPC at rupees 2.5 and others let's say at 4.5 rupees. Now this will give you control over being aggressive and being optimum. But in either case do not forget to keep your math in hand to ensure profitability. Next, create your campaigns every month and dump your previous campaigns. Now what this means is every month whenever you, let's say you have made a campaign in the month of January and in the month of February you create another new campaign because obviously in the month of January when would have, you would have put some budget, that budget would have emptied out and that campaign will go to an about state. The new campaign you have to create the similar way and check what is the ROI or the uh, total benefit that you have made from the new campaign. Next, keep adding money to your campaigns in small amount on daily basis. This will give you a better ROI. I cannot prove this to you as to why this happens, but it has been working well. Now, what this means is, let's say you create a campaign and uh, you kept a budget of, let's say, 1000 rupees per day and you, you put that money and end of the day, you have received the orders. Whatever number of orders that you have received, again, just check what is the uh, actual spend that has happened in the budget for each and every clicks that has been made. What is the number of impression? Do some analysis on that. And next day, again, put 1000 rupees. Instead of going ahead with a logic like I will, I will, I would want to spend about 15,000 rupees for next 15 days and I will put 15,000 rupees budget in the campaign. Please do not do this. Should you always advertise? Fact is yes, this is very hurting. Flipkart never adheres to the straightforward maths. It keeps changing its algorithm. Now this hampers a seller whose aim is to build a strong brand and business. Advertising is an operational activity and you will always have to be on it. Now having said that, you are always doing the same thing again and again. This will keep you be on the operational side of the business all the time and you will end up doing the advertising all the time. Next, if you let go advertising, your ratings may still not help you to be up in the market, but your spends on the ads will uh, may be conservative. Meaning initially, let's say your CPC is rupees 3.5, 
but once your product gets reasonable ratings visibility and your cpc can be substantially down let's say you're doing a, a set of products or a single product for 3.5 rupees cpc or a period of time let's say in three months or six months down the line you can see the same cpc can be one rupee next be always on ads till some new changes happens in the functionality now what this means is when there are ads that are running in flipkart at flipkart obviously there will be many other play with, uh, players who would come into the same market uh, marketplace and then they, they would also compete with your products and at that time uh, maybe if if your ratings is good if you if, if the product has a reasonable sale that has done in the past then obviously the new competitor who comes into the uh, in the same market will have to face many other challenges which you may not have to do it so uh, if you refer to the point number 2 there also i would have i have told that there will be a substantial decrease in the cpc this is what it means now seller should keep the below points in mind do not depend on ads in the platform keep doing other other advertising also do an offline and online parallelly to achieve your sales target so at the same time do not do your projections in the sales as in direct equation this will not work for example let's say i spend rupees 1000 rupees to get 1000 rupees sale 10000 rupees sale and if i spend 5000 rupees it would not mean that you will make 50000 rupees of sale this is not going to work next always account your ad spend to the actual settlement you have received in the bank account because flipkart counts your order hit not the actual realized orders for example it will uh, let's say you received 25 orders in your account and then uh, next day let's say there are five cancellations so you are left out with 20 orders so flipkart counts 25 orders not 20 orders because the five order cancellation is not included in your ad showcasing that is done in the portal so always do a proper accounting of the number of orders that you have actually received actually being worked out and then finally what is the number of cancellation and all these things once you do a proper accounting for all this you will know what is your exact spend in the ads and what is the return that you have received next would be never compete aggressively in the promotions through ads you may simply end up burning your money now what this means is whenever there is a promotional opportunity like let's say a big billion day or some other diwali sale or whatever xyz sale that flipkart promotes it so do not get yourself too much involved or too much aggressive on that kind of a campaign because it so happens it depends on multiple parameters in those promotions priority will always be given to a gold seller silver seller but if you are in a bronze seller then obviously you will face uh, you will have you will face a lot of difficulty plus also your spend on those ads will be much higher in compared to others so uh, technically what you should be doing is keep your ad spend uh, fairly on the optimum scale do not get too aggressive when there is a promotion